Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective, and today's topic is called, He Can Use Anybody. Now, when I say He, I mean God. It's going to be a couple of go-to scriptures that I will be using, as well as it has something to do deal with me a little bit. God confirmed that I was a prophetess about a year or two ago. I was thinking, I'm like, God... So I know you give me messages mainly for me, but then I realized some of the messages it's like for other people. Now it's not nothing that I will put on my paper or I got a doctorate degree or whatever the case might be, or say, oh, I'm a prophetess Tay. However, I know that God gave me that gift to operate in. I, I'm just not fully there yet. Recently, I was thinking having that that mindset again because a couple of people that I listen to. That I know that they're a prophet or a prophetess and they have like a huge following and I know they operate in those gifts they can speak in tongues and different things like that now as far as me I, can, I don't have that gift yet to speak in tongues I do want that gift but I know that different people like God use them mightily to speak things so I had that on my mind but you know it was nothing like a big thing but I just know that God used me Within that time frame, it's like God confirmed like different people that I actually listen to who have like a huge following and who I know that is a prophet or a prophetess. They speak about the exact same thing. Well, it don't have to be the exact same thing, but some of the things they said, it's like some of the exact same things that I said. Regardless if it was like a day or two after I relayed the message, but it was like in that time, you know, time span. Let's just say for instance, like I'm not talking about like girl facing inflation, you know, different things going up, and then you might speak about inflation, and now say you hear another prophet or prophet to speak to speak about inflation, and then you might hear another one speak about inflation, and, and then you say, oh, they, they speaking about inflation, and I spoke about that. Look, look at that. Look, look, look how God using me. We're not talking about like that because this world is facing like you know, so it's like. Yeah, we're not talking about nothing that's in the news and that's like, you know, happening right now and then somebody else talking about it. No, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, say for instance, it could be something that happened a while ago or something that nobody really talks about on a regular basis, but you talked about it and all of a sudden the prophet or prophetess who, you know, who have a huge following, they talk about it too and it's like, wow, God, I, I know you're using me. And that happened on different occasions, like different people, Miles, Prophet and Prophetess Miles, like they'll speak about the exact same thing that I spoke about. And it's like, wow, God, I know you're using me. What God was trying to show me is just because you don't speak in tongues yet, and I'm going to put the emphasis on yet. <laughs> and just because you don't have the title as a prophetess, doesn't mean that I haven't given you that gift. And God could be telling other people that as well, but don't just go willy nilly titling yourself as a prophetess or a prophet or just any other title that God has not given you. Even though it's great to have credentials, don't get me wrong, because if you go to a doctor's office, if you don't see a certificate on that doctor on wall saying that they're certified and they went to school and they are certified for what they learn, it's like I don't want this doctor give me no information or operate on me or whatever the case might be you want proof the exact same way with a hairdresser if you're in a salon you usually have their certificate on the wall and different things like that so you can pretty much see say for instance if you get your hair done at a house i know about that you feel me however you can look at it like of course people in the house a lot of times they don't have their credentials some people do but some people you gotta look at it because a person doing your house, your hair in the house, are you going to say, oh, no, I ain't going to go to you because you don't got your credentials. If you see pictures and, like, people, um, hairstyles of of hairstyles that they did on other people and it actually looks good and, you know, had, like, they never had no complaints or anything, you're going to want to try them, too. You're not going to look at, okay, because they have a certificate. So what I'm trying to tell you is... God could be using you in the gift of a prophet or prophetess or whatever. However, you might not have that actual 
title, like, you know, from going to school or being, you know how you get ordained? Yeah, ordained. You might not get ordained by another minister or whatever the case might be. However, God can still use you. I'm going to use, for instance, in the Bible. I say God can use anybody. It doesn't matter who that person is. It doesn't matter if the person got a huge following and the person not. If a person just look at my page, I'm pretty sure out of me and then the next prophet or prophetess, if a per person who got a whole bunch of followers, they might say, hmm, if they have a choice to look between them and me it's like okay yeah i'm gonna go with them because they have a huge following they have a lot of views and i'm pretty sure they know what they're talking about but if you're not giving me a chance then how you know that god is not speaking through me to give you your answer your, your answer might not be in the other person who you got a lot of following not saying that god don't use them but i'm just saying like your answer might be in the other person who you don't might look at, even though I said in a video before, a couple of videos, like, a uh, man might look at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. And it's not to say that God is not going to use them the exact same way with, you know, in that scripture. Everybody thought it was um, David Brothers, but it was actually David. And I'm not. it's not to say that God didn't use David Brothers. It's not to say that God didn't speak to David Brothers. But God chose David. So it's not to say that God doesn't use the other prophet prophets who have a whole bunch of followers. But I know God uses me and your answer could be in me. It's not even just me, but for anybody who have like a small following, God can use them as well. So don't just be limited to think that your answer is only in a huge following. Now, I'm going to say with the story with Rahab, how she hid those, I think, two spies. Now, you know Rahab was a harlot. You know a harlot is pretty much a whoremonger. You know, it's a person that sleep with a whole bunch of, yeah. Men are also, men can also be that too. It's not just limited to women. I know a lot of times men like to stress that only women. Yeah, but I'm not going to get into all that. So, please don't try to debate with me. You feel me? <laughs> She was a harlot, but even this harlot knew that God is using y'all to, like, I know that God has given y'all the land, but please spare me and my family. How, how does harlot knew that? All, the, all these people that so-called religious and different things that God can use, this harlot now, who people might look down on, might toot their nose and say, mm-mm, I don't want to be around you, or I don't want to deal with you. You see how God used her? And even she knew, like, yeah, I knew that God gave the land. God can use anybody. The like same way we're just reading on my daily bread. We're on the book of Exodus now. And pretty much God used Moses to do different miracles to prove that God was with him. But at first, the first few miracles that he did, the magicians were actually able to do as well. So it's like, okay. It put fear in my life. Oh, my mama just could do that too. However, Moses did another miracle. The magicians, when it was time for them to do it, they even had to say, this is the head of God. Now, these are people who work in witchcraft. Magicians are people who work in sorcery. Magicians are people who are against God. But even they had to say, no, this is the finger of God. Okay, I'm going to use another instance. All before he turned into Paul, you know, the Saul that was killing Christians, seen that big light, he answered, yes, Lord, how did a man that was persecuting Christians know all of a sudden say, yes, Lord, if a person like that, they probably, I would think they were probably like, yeah, or what's going on, or who are you, yeah, he had enough sense to say, yes, Lord, so you gotta look at all those scenarios, if People that we might look down on, people that we might not seem like they have a huge following, or we might seem like, you know, God don't speak to them. That could be actually be the person that God used to speak to you. I'm pretty sure some people that look down on Saul because he originally persecuted Christians, I'm pretty sure that when he gave his life to God, and he was actually doing the will of God, some people was like looking down and said, uh-uh, ain't this the same man that God can't use him? But God did use him. 
and God used many others. So, like I said, God used that scenario to confirm to me. God knew that he, he you know, he used me. But it's just like a breath of fresh air to hear people that have a huge following to hear them talk about the exact same thing that God used me to talk about. It's, it's just a blessing. I'm telling all y'all who, who might do that, don't just be limited to a person that you have a huge following because I'm pretty sure some people might look at me or just not even just me. Another person later on might be looking at a few subscribers now, but what about when God used me years to come? It could be next year. It could be a few months from now. Who knows? And it's like, wow, this person got a whole bunch of followers now. Is you going to be on their they side now? On their team? In the world, they, they call it D-riding. That's all I'm going to say. Are you going to be a jump on the bandwagon then when that person is way up there? Oh, yeah, I remember when. But you barely listened to them then and you barely thought God used them then. Or are you going to expect that God speaks to them as well? Even with a small following. Now also it's not just to scold different people or different things or get people to view my videos or anything like that. Or view people who have a small following. Because at the end of the day, I could care less. At the end of the day, like, I really don't even like limelight like that. <laughs> you feel me? I'm really on here because of Jesus. So, if you see, for certain people that don't even know about my channel, and I really don't plan on them telling, the only way they will find out if like a video is recommended to them. But other than that, yeah, I don't want people, some people, to even know about my channel. However, when that time do comes, you know, let it be manifested, Jesus. However, don't just like I said, just don't be limited on certain people. God can use anybody, whether they're a big, have a big following or a small following. God can use anybody. Be mindful of that. A person down the street, a person that look homeless, a person that don't look like they smoke good, a person that this and that, you might switch your nose up or look down on, that could be the exact same person that God used. Give your word to bless you. Even a little recently, uh, I, I was just at a store, you know, sitting down waiting for my ride, and I could see this person across the other side. They was, you know, smoking. But I think they said something. I think I spoke or they said something. So I could tell it was going to come my way. So I was like, before you come over here, then put that out because I don't like to smell the smoke. <laughs> you feel me? want to judge or anything, but I'm not going to be talking while you write directly to me because, like, if I can smell the smoke, wait, it's not about that. But yeah. <laughs> so they put it out, and they actually came by me, and, you know, we was talking, of course, I told them to keep it just a little bit because, you know, Corona still. But, yeah, we when I said we had a conversation, like, even though they, you know, I could tell they facing certain things, different struggles. However, I could tell that God uses them. Even something that they said, it, it made me cry. It put a tear in my, in my face. I'm like, I knew that was from God. Like, I knew that was God that spoke to you because he actually said stuff like that. So, God can use anybody. And I'm just praying that the individual that, you know, God still looks look out for them and they no longer go through a struggle in anything that they're going through and God just totally deliver them in Jesus' holy name. I'm not limited to anyone. You know, God using anyone. I could have looked at a person and said, uh, what is her talking about? I'm pretty sure God ain't using no more, this and that. But I didn't look at them like that. God can use a little baby. I even said in another video, it was a baby in a NICU, a video of a, um, they, their mother singing, and the baby was lifting up their hands in worship. Come on, that baby prompted me to say, wow, if a baby could do that, then look at me. God can use anybody, so don't be limited. That's pretty much all I had to say regarding y'all. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.